Hey guys, welcome back to the This Is Soul Skate Shop YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do a video about the best falling technique for beginners. It's called the proposal. We are here right now in the This Is Soul Skate Shop. If you ever need some gear, some skates or some protection, you're at the right spot here. Um, in this video, I'm gonna explain to you all the things you need to know to learn the proposal falling technique. And it's a part of a series that you can find on our YouTube channel, of course, uh, with all the different techniques that, uh, that are good for beginners, like this falling techniques, but also breaking techniques and how to get over bad surfaces and all those type of things that you need to learn if you're just starting out with skating. The proposal falling technique is a technique where you use one knee pad, uh, of course, you're probably gonna have two on, but you only use one, you put one knee on the ground and you slide until, until you stop. To do this technique, you need good knee pads, of course. And there's a couple of different types of knee pads, so let me quickly run you through those before we start practicing. Here you see a knee pad without a plastic cap and it's flexible. This is used underneath your pants and it's not good to slide on. For the proposal technique, we need to slide, so we're not gonna use one of those. We need one with a plastic cap, like this one. And then there's plastic cap knee pads that are thick and that are thin. The thicker they are, obviously, the easier it is to land on and feel safe. Like the thin ones, you're still gonna feel the impact. And I want you to be able to do the proposal without hesitation so that you can just drop yourself, boom, on your knees and feel safe. That's why the thicker the knee pads, the better. Here's one that is a little bit in a pointy shape like this. You should avoid these uh, because they will turn like to the left or to the right when you fall on it. So you want one that has a flat cap like this uh, instead of a pointy one like the one that I'm holding now. Also take note that a good knee pad should have a good uh, sleeve on the back. So this one has an open sleeve here and this one doesn't stay on its place as good as the one that have like a complete sleeve from top to bottom. There's also knee pads that have like, it's called a butterfly uh, wrap. And they have like, not a complete sleeve, but um, these flaps here, and then with the strap over it, these also are really good. If they have both a, a strap and a flap like this, um, it will also hold its place really good. I got my knee pads here ready, so let's go outside and put them on and I'll explain more details about when to use the, the proposal technique and what you should know about it. The proposal technique is actually one of the oldest falling techniques that is uh, featured in movies because the first skating movies from the early 90s, the people there did a lot of, the, of these proposal falling techniques. It was actually a cool thing back then, and it was only in the early 90s. Uh, thinking about movies like, um, like Dare to Air, which is one of the first movies that features, no, I think the first movie that features people doing tricks on skates. Um, they're like playing around with knee pads and uh, the slides that you can do. And I'll show you some of the tricks later in this video uh, that you can do on the knee pads. Uh, one of the skaters that does this currently is Robbie Pitts. He also has a, a cool video where he's playing a lot with the knee pads. So check that one out. I'll put a link in the description. So when to use the proposal falling technique instead of others. The proposal falling technique is done if you're skating in a fairly straight line. But if you're making turns and if you're skating more fluently, you're more likely to use the mermaid falling technique. We have a video about the mermaid falling technique as well. I uh, highly recommend you to watch those. So the proposal is done if you're skating in a straight line and you can use it if you feel unsafe to make sure that you can no longer fall anymore. Because once you're at the ground, um, you can no longer fall. And this is the quickest and easiest way and safest way to get down. Another function it has is that it functions as a speed limit. So these falling techniques actually determine how fast you can go. Because uh, if you ask me, you should never go faster than that you're able to do the falling technique with. So practice going as fast as you can. Later in this video, we'll do it together with this proposal falling technique, and that will determine your speed. Because if you go faster than that, it's really unsafe. Another good function of this proposal falling technique is that it works as a brake. And that's what we're gonna do right now. 
So it's actually one of the first things that we do with beginners in the lesson is uh, it's the first breaking technique is to teach them to do one knee on the ground. Because here, if you go into the Fondo Park, there's already a little bit of a slope. And then you go faster and faster and faster. Ah! So then you just put one knee on the ground. And you're safe. Boom, easy. If you're starting out skating, breaking is one of the most hard things that you're gonna learn. It's very, very complicated and there's a lot of technique. There's like 10 stopping and breaking techniques or something. And you need to be able to learn them all. And this is actually the easiest way to come to a standstill. All right, let's practice the proposal technique together. And to do so, we're gonna start standing still. So let's find a nice spot. I always like it here. All right. All right. So let's practice it standing still and I'll give you all the tips that you need. First thing what you, do, what you want to do is if you fall is get down. It doesn't matter if you're doing the proposal, if you're doing the mermaid or if you're doing the rock star falling technique uh, or if you're creating your own uh, subcategory of falling techniques. Most people do that. They fall in some creative way. Um, the most important part what you want to do is to get down yourself. So don't fall over like a tree, like this, but you wanna um, guide yourself to the ground straight down. Um, the most common beginner's mistake is to fall like this, like a, like a plank, like this, straight in a push-up position without the knees touching the ground with all the weight on the, on the wrist. And uh, we are gonna do the opposite because we're gonna try not to use the hands. We're gonna get down all the way this is called like the cannonball movement. So you sit and make yourself round like a cannonball. And from this position, when you're as low to the ground as you can, you're gonna put one knee on the ground and then boom, you're safe. Because once you're at the ground, you can no longer fall. All right, there's a few things that you should do. Um, one of the things is you should avoid having your foot stretched like this. You should have your foot close to your knee like this. All right, the closer your foot is to your knee, the better. All right, that's step one. Then the second tip is you don't wanna be in this position. You wanna be in the position where your hip is close to your heel here, all right? And then the third tip is not to use your, your hands. At least, I mean, like if you're actually falling, you can use your hands, of course. But while we're practicing, you're gonna practice to not use them. Because if you practice to not use your hands, you can then later always use them as a backup. But if your hands are your primary way to catch yourself, there's no backup anymore. Your, your, your next step is your teeth. You don't want that. You want to have your hands as a backup. All right, so let's practice. You get down, boom, and then one knee on the ground like that. Most people start with, start and then they do it like this. Boom, do it like five times, maybe 10 times, and you can do it without hands. Then you can uh, slowly start riding. So the, the right way to do it is first make a cannonball, then wait one second if you have the time, and then put one knee on the ground and make a slide. The one second of pause is really important because otherwise you take all your downwards energy into the impact of the ground like this, bam! And it's a really hard impact and you don't want that. You want to have the softest impact possible all right that's the goal let's try again skate a bit get down cannonball wait one second put one knee on the ground and then that's the moment that most people will have their foot again stretching like this so remember keep your foot close to your knee all right let's try again you go skate get down cannonball wait one second put one knee on the ground keep your foot next to your knee and then another mistake that people will do is to have the foot roll forward and uh, get back into this position where your hip is not on your heel. All right, so try to hold this, try to hold that, and just go straight. Okay, come skate, get down, cannonball, wait one second, one knee on the ground, hip to the heel, foot next to my knee, go in a straight line and come to a standstill. Boom, safe. The goal in the beginning is to slide as long as you can because you want to be able to do that. If you, if you can do that, 
then you have a really good controlled fall and then you can take that control and try to break as fast as you can with it come to a quick standstill let's try that press skate all right to be able to break quickly i'm just putting more weight on my knee all right once you master all the little tips that i just gave you you can slowly gradually build up speed are you ready let's go Boom. Boom. All right. All right. <laughs> if you want to break even faster, you can also put another knee on the ground after you put the first one. I'll show you what I mean with that. Get some speed, get down, put one knee on the ground, and then, and then the other. If you do that, you're gonna start doing the Rockstar knee, knee slide. Um, we're gonna do another video, of course, about the Rockstar. And for the Rockstar, as well as the proposal, you need to have your hips on your heels and lean backwards a little bit to do it uh, proper. If you lean forward, then um, that's not the right technique. If you lean too much forward, your hands are also gonna to touch the ground and you just wanna stay safe and have your shoulders back and your knees forward. Once you master all the techniques, you're ready to play. One thing that I would like to do is to do it uh, while riding backwards. Let's go. Ta-da! Or maybe to try to spin with it. Or if you're in a skate park, you can use it to go down a slope with. You should just play with falling because uh, you want to be able to do it properly. Once the moment comes that you lose your balance, you want to, to have it internalized of what you need to do. So go out and play, have fun, uh, practice the falling techniques as much as you can, preferably every time you go skating before you head out, touch the ground, become friends with the ground, and uh, that way you'll lose fear, you'll be way more comfortable and relaxed, and you'll have more, less injuries. So that's it for today's lesson. If you want to learn more, check out our YouTube channel. Of course, you can also take a lesson at our skate school here in Amsterdam if you're ever around. Come say hi to us, to me and my colleagues at the shop. And hopefully we'll see you there or in the next video because we make a new video every week. Bye bye.